Hi, I'm Joseph Matera. I'm the author of Kingdom Awakening. This is the sequel to the popular Kingdom Revolution that came out in 2009. In this book, Kingdom Awakening, we talk about how an awakening has to precede a revolution. In the same way, George Whitfield and John Wesley and their preaching preceded the American Revolution uh, with the First Great Awakening. This book talks about how we have to have an awakening of pastors and leaders and marketplace people coming together, praying, strategizing, and working for the good of their community before revolution takes place. In this book, we talk about how the Genesis 128 mandate of having dominion is not to have dominion over human beings, because in Genesis 129, it talks about dominion is over the created order, but how the New Testament equivalent to dominion, which is influence, is only coming about through service. As Jesus wrapped a towel around his waist and served, he said, the greatest among you will serve. And so we show in this book how we could serve our communities, how we could have multi-ethnic unity and multi-denominational unity, and how the laws of the land should reflect the Bible. We have a biblical blueprint for change, also an economic blueprint uh, that is based on the Ten Commandments that is worth the book in and of itself. I also deal with kingdom politics as opposed to just having a Republican and Democratic uh, Party understanding of politics. We bring in what kingdom politics is all about. I'm really, really passionate about this book because I have seen Sunset Park change, transform because of the strategies we've implemented for the past 30 years. I have seen New York City change. Uh, the quality of life has been dramatically changed since we started our prayer and unity initiatives in the early 1990s. And I'm so excited because I believe that every pastor is called to be a chaplain for their community and the pastors of the city should pastor their city. It's not just the local church and it's not just church members, but God is concerned with all of creation and it's the church that is called to take the lead. In this book, we're going to see those proven strategies come out and unpack. One of the things that we talk about in the book is how the Celtics were able to evangelize the barbarians by first embracing their communities instead of uh, preaching the gospel. Uh, then after presentation, they receive Christ and then embracing the community. We try to reverse that where we embrace the community first and then in that embrace we present and preach the gospel. This is what we have been doing for the past 30 years in our local church, Resurrection Church, and it's been an amazing uh, turnaround and we've seen great favor. In this strategy, that is to say, embracing the community even before they know Christ, considering the community a gift to the church, not just the church, a gift to the community, uh, will result in a tremendous favor, not only from God, but from men. Too often we're preaching against every politician, preaching against one another, and uh, it's almost like we're shooting scud missiles from our pulpits, and we take our a cue from Elijah the prophet who denounced Ahab, but Ahab was a backslider. Israel was a theocracy. Now we're in a postmodern, humanistic, post-Christian culture. We have to take the approach of Daniel, who excelled in a Babylonian culture, spoke the language of Babylon, and at the right time, because he was a man of integrity, he was positioned to bring transformation to the top leaders and see that whole culture transform. These are some of the things that we talk about. There are essentially five models of the kingdom that we deal with, as well as other models that will be very, very practical. I think this will be a must for all practitioners, for all thinking Christians, emerging leaders. I think it would be a must for church staffs, for all churches that want to reach their community. And I think colleges and universities uh, with a Christian base would do well to uh, purchase this book. Uh, we've had seasoned leaders such as Jack Taylor, talk about how powerful this book is. I want to quote Jack Taylor. He said, This grace-soaked work will revolutionize how we view the church, how we do church, and how we relate as spiritual leaders in our surroundings. Thank you, Joseph, for being for us a pace setter, a planner, as well as a guide. The book fills a vital niche 
in a wide open area that answers the question about what it would look like when the kingdom comes to our town. I hope you purchase this book. God bless you.